In this video, we will be covering how to properly power down your alarm system. This may be useful when you are troubleshooting an error on the keypad, or if you're remodeling an area that includes multiple sensors, the keypad, or the panel box. In order to power down your system, you will need to locate its two main power sources, the AC transformer and the battery which is housed inside your alarm panel box. The alarm panel is normally located inside of a closet, utility room, or in the basement and locked by a key. If you're not sure where your key is, check on top of the box, but be careful not to push the key into any of the holes on the top. Use the key to unlock the box. For easier access, remove the door from the panel by lifting it off of its three hinges. Now that you have opened the box, you should see a single 12 volt battery inside. Inspect the battery terminals and ensure that there is no visible corrosion. Next, disconnect the battery by gently pulling the clips horizontally off of the battery terminal. The main power supply is usually plugged into an outlet located in your basement or utility room, in or near a closet, and in some cases your attic or garage. Check the temperature of the power supply with the back of your hand. It should be warm to the touch. If it's uncomfortably hot, do not unplug the transformer and call customer service immediately for assistance. If it's an acceptable temperature, use a screwdriver to unfasten it from the power outlet. After you've removed the power supply, look at your keypad. It should be completely blank and have no response when the buttons are pressed. When you need to power your system back up, just reverse the steps. Plug the power supply back in and secure it with the screw. Your system should power back on automatically. Then, reconnect the battery, close the panel box, and lock the door. Clear any keypad errors by entering your four-digit security code, followed by the number one. If there is more than one battery in the alarm panel box, corrosion on the battery, or if you have any questions during this process, you may visit our support page online to review your user manual or get live help from customer service.